I want to go to the reason why I invited you on, and we had planned to do something on the Medal of Honor Museum, which I think they're going to try to, uh, it's, um, I believe a groundbreaking is going to happen in, in Dallas um, sometime soon, and that'll be a great way for people to learn about Medal of Honor recipients. But I want to read the mission statement, Colonel, Colonel Jack, because it seems like it may apply to a lot of Americans today, perhaps. The Medal of Honor is awarded by the president in the name of Congress to a member of the armed forces who is prominently distinguished by gallantry and intrepidity, risking loss of life above and beyond the call of duty. There's a lot of medical professionals that are risking the loss of life right now. It seems like if we don't have one, we may want to come up with a civilian uh, award for, for, for what we're going to and what we're seeing already with doctors and nurses all over the country. Well, the Medal of Honor Society each year uh, awards uh, valorous, gives valorous awards to civilians who've distinguished themselves in circumstances just like the ones uh, you're talking about. Um, it's really important that we remember right now uh, that the people who are on the front lines are uh, first responders, medical professionals, and uh, the National Guard and Reserves who are all over the place trying to keep uh, uh, keep people from getting too close to one another, patrolling areas. You can see them in large cities, particularly New York, Washington, and Seattle all the time. Those are the people in uniform and out who are on the front lines, and they all deserve um, not only our respect, but our thanks and our accolades as well. Well, you deserve our respect and accolades, and, and there's not many living Medal of Honor recipients. It's an honor to have gotten to know you. Uh, and I encourage folks, use today as a way to do that. Get to know people that have uh, been awarded this highest honor. Read about their stories. They're unbelievable stories, aren't they, Colonel Jack? Every one of them is, a, is, is, is heroism beyond, beyond sometimes what you can comprehend. Well, all of us recipients will tell you the same thing. We don't wear the award for ourselves. We wear it for all those who I can't. Know. Think about all those people who've served and uh, who perform valiantly and nobody saw it or uh, people did see it and they themselves were killed. There was nobody left to witness it. And that's why uh, there are only 71 of us alive now. When I was decorated, there were uh, four, five times as many. We all say the same thing. We wear it not for ourselves, but for all those who can't wear it. Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel. So thank you. Now do me a favor. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Beat the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP, and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.